Yo, what's good, yo? We back with the fit. My bad, I haven't been uploading. Sometimes your boy could get a little lazy. Man, today, I'm just talking about my day. Uh, our day, man. I hope you have a blessed day. I mean, you are because um, you're alive. So, blessed day not to be alive. Uh, today, my it was it was all right. You know, nothing special. I mean, all I did today was eat, play basketball outside against my brother. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Today, I improved. I can say that though. I usually, when I lose, yes, I lost. That usually don't happen. Yesterday, I beat him. You know what I'm about? Uh, usually, when I use, lose, I usually get real mad. Especially, it was hot. Well, the, the heat, and when I'm losing, those two together, it doesn't stay. Like, something gets, I was really mad. Bro. I was really mad. Usually, what I do is, <laughs> I slam that door in his face, and I lock it. Because I'm mad. But today, I, I was about to slam it. I was like, you know what? I remember there was a prayer yesterday, you know, like, don't let it control me, you know, let me control it. So I was like, oh, I was doing my best. I was like, mm. and I just let him come in, bro. I was mad. Boy, I don't know what. It's like, it's like the Holy Spirit reminded me what you said and what I, when I like prayed yesterday. I mean, I mean I'm getting, you know, I pray for uh, self-control so and anger because I usually get mad. Um, yeah, but that's basically what um, what um, that's what happened uh today and on Thursday. Well, it's about to be my birthday in like, in, uh, like next week or a couple of days. Um, we're gonna go to Georgia and uh, do a, watch uh my cousin do can't say I don't even know her that like that. So, I mean, I'm just I guess I'm grateful. Um, today though, we are gonna be y'all see that outcast? Yes, sir. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most, one, if not the important thing of all time, and it's God's love. Bro, to be so, to be loved by God, that he's, he could worry about anything else, but he chooses to love on us. That's, you know, that's something I got to think about to his love towards us. I mean, like I said, every video what we deserve to have his love because all we do is continue to disobey but all i can say is i'm grateful and he has mercy on us that he still loves us to this day you know like i said he could just you know forget about us but no he continues to love on us so today we're gonna be talking about god's love now i could i can go on and on and on about god's love you know Stuff I always think about my stuff in this in, in my head. I always continue thinking about God in my head. But today I just three points again. Three three scriptures. How about that? Three scriptures I chose. All right. Scripture number one. I wish I could just put it in my in the screen like like my church does it. But I'm not an altar. I can't. I don't know the technology. You know what I'm saying? Scripture number one. Now I gotta have that thing. In 1 Corinthians 16, 13, Paul says, Let all that you do be done with love. Let all that we do be done with love. I chose this scripture because, you know, we as humans already know what it's like to be condemned. We already get it from all these people who are rich and, you know, all the other people. And especially when it comes to preaching that... Sometimes people become religious and um, start not doing our love, but condemning. We already know how condemning works. So if a preacher goes out there and continues to condemn, they want to run off because we're already used to that. So Paul, exactly what he said, do it out of love. When you approach someone with love and you do it with God's love, not only they'll like... First of all, they might not ever feel love. So when a stranger comes up to you and he comes to you with love out of nowhere, I don't 
out of anywhere. Now you want now the person who didn't know this guy, he wants to know more about it because, you know, maybe they've been feeling depression and all that. They want to know where his love is coming from, where the, the source is coming from. And everybody has it. Everybody has a light in them. And God sent the Holy Spirit to everyone. When he died on our cross, he he sent the Holy Spirit to everyone. Now, but it's up to you if, you know, if you want to use the Holy Spirit. No, the Holy Spirit uses you, really. You use the Holy Spirit by you denying your flesh every single day and let him guide you. But, yeah. But do everything off of love because Jesus could have came to this world. He came... He came as a servant. He didn't come as a master. He didn't come as a, a, a king. No, he came as a servant. He came to serve others. So while we serve in others, let us do that out of love. Let us do that out of love that God has given us to serve the kingdom. And we can do it out of love. Show other people that this love that we get is not from us. It's not from our flesh. It's from God. It's from God. He provides us grace, mercy, love. And we all inherited that. He gives us to that. We don't have it. The Lord gives us to it. So now that he's given it to us, let us go upon our brothers and sisters and spread that love. Let them know that you're not alone and you are loved. People don't know that. People don't hear that enough. They need to hear that more. You are loved because we love you and God loves you most of all. God thinks of you as the sand on the beach. Think how big the sand is. He thinks of you more than the sand on the beach in the whole world. You know, you know the sand on that beach, but there's a whole lot of sand. He thinks of you way more than that. Now think about that. Now think about the God, big as him, think about us mainly, uh, personally. Bro, that's a lot. Like, I can't believe the Lord really loves us like that. Like, like I said, every. I wonder why, like, I mean, I just, I thank God, man. I thank God that you, he still loves on us. And he still continue love us on us. But there will be a day. But that day, that choice is upon you. That's scripture number one. Scripture number two. Uh, like, Every scripture is about the same because it's like almost related. Scripture number two is 1 John 4, 20. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he has, for he who does not love his brother who he has seen, how can he love God who he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. From 1 John 4, 20, 21. I love that one, man. That one could mean a whole lot. That one scripture could teach you a whole lot of lessons. Now, that one says, love your brother and sister. So, love your brother. It's saying, like, how can you how can you love your brother who's right next to you? How can you not, my bad. How can you not love your brother who's right next to you but love something you can't see? You know, it doesn't make sense. God teaches us to love everybody. And this is not even talking about family. Well, I guess we all are family. So, but like blood wise, it's talking about everybody, not just your your related brother. It's talking about your brother over there who's struggling. Your brother over there who hates God. Your brother over there who who is in depression. You have to love all of them. If you love all of them, it shows all of them that. Wow, even though I'm like this, even though I'm stuck in sin, even though I'm stuck in mud, someone still loves me. Not only that I love you, but the love that I get that from is from God. Now, imagine, now, imagine I, I'm not the way I am, but God still loves you no matter what. He could love you in the deepest, 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 deepest point. You're stuck in sin, all these people, I hate on you, all these people. But that one light, that one light. That one person, that one man, that one God, still chose to lose, cho chose to love you. Now think about it. No one else does that. No one else, unless they they know God. You know, bro. That, I love that scripture, man. Like you, you have to love everybody. If you're in Christ, you have to love everyone, because God love 
so we can love too. God first love, that's why we love too. You know, we are, we do everything for God. We do it because of him. Just love everyone, man. Because God loves everyone. There's no reason why you shouldn't either. Especially the judge himself loves everyone. Why do we ha get to write to judge someone else, you know? You could judge a man. But when you judge a man, if only one person can judge a man. And that is one man who didn't commit no sin. Now let me know a person who hasn't committed no sin. No one except Jesus. And he didn't cast a stone on adultery. Adulterer. You know, we don't get to write the judge. Let God judge. Let him do that. Let us love as he did. Let us show mercy upon uh, on them as just as he did. He did. Luke uh, 636. Um, um, your father shows mercy. You must show mercy as your father did also. Something like that. Dude. My bad. I need to remember. I, soon, I'm going to study the Bible real good. Soon as I get like, you know, with it. But yeah, love everyone, man. Love everyone because there's already hate in this world. And the enemy, the person who's already down, the enemy stomps on them. But we're here so we can put our back on the ground so they can keep going back up. We, we're here to serve. Remember that. We're here to serve. We're here to put our backs down so someone else can come on top of us. We are, so we, our job is to love and help others. Let them climb up uh, upon my back and keep going on. We're going to cheer for you from down here. Hey, but remember, we helped you. God helped us. Now you help them, you know? And I wish the world was like that. We continue helping. But this world is it's too selfish. It's too... They care about themselves. And that's what is sad. I know that makes God so sad that not everyone is going to go into the kingdom of heaven. Though he prepared it for us. Just <laughs> Man, man. But let us continue to love on everybody just how he loves on us. You know, he is the judge. We are not. We are his servants. Let us. you rather be a slave to God than a slave to sin. So, choose. Kingdom of God or hell. For last scripture, I'm pretty sure everyone know. Even for unbelievers, they might know. You might know. You know, I had it. I, I have it right here, but uh, I already memorized. I memorized most, some scriptures. A whole lot, but. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So what, so whoever. Wait. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. So whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. <laughs> Everybody has to know that scripture. I chose that one because it's obvious. The Lord loves us so much. He sent his only begotten son, only son to the world so he could be sacrificed. And so he could set examples how we should live. And so he could carry everyone's sin and bear it on him. Bro, think about it. Think about you as a father sending your only son to a bunch of strangers who disobey us. Disobey you, and and he has to be sacrificed. You know, I just man, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for Jesus, man. For without him on that cross, without what he experienced through, I'd be going to hell. I'd be going to hell. Just straight up, he felt all that. He felt it spiritually. He felt it physically. He felt all that. He had to bear all that pain in his back, his front, sins, mm, constantly like. He, he took all our sins. I just love God so much, man. Like I said, without Jesus Christ, we would all be going to hell. And name me another person who would do that, you know. God is so, he has, he has love for us and mercy. Um, you know, I always think about why he doesn't like came down. But, you know, he still, he has patience. And he's waiting for everyone to get on track. And this is why I'm here for. The Lord is making... I'm preaching so y'all can know. Either y'all can know and y'all can do something to apply it with y'all lives. And the people who don't know, y'all do know now. Y'all can't unhear it. 
Now, it is up to you. It's your choice. And if you want to spend eternal life with Jesus Christ, or eternal life with the hell, with in hell and the, and the demons in there, and where most people are going, I'm trying to I'm trying to help y'all, man. I'm I'm trying to help y'all. I really hope y'all apply this to your life. Apply this. Do everything in love. If I had to do everything, remember that Jesus Christ died for you. You are loved. Do everything in love. Show what God's love through you and show it to others so they can know what true love is. You can't, you don't, if you're in a relationship, you're married, and you don't know who God is, I'm sorry to break it to you, bro, or ma'am, but you don't know, you're not living, you don't know what love is. That is not love. That's something else. And the reason you're not knowing any of it, because sometimes the level allows you to get all this good stuff so you won't know what the, the real truth is. He continues to feed his lies so you could be feeling all his lies. And by the time it comes to judgment day, you will lie your whole life. That's why I'm here. I'm here to spread the truth. You are loved. And if you don't know God, then you don't know what love is. And that's it, bro. I made it off like that. You know, I could, like I said, I could go on and on and on about love, but I'll be, you know, I just want to end it off in prayer. Okay. Alright. Yeah, make sure y'all pray for everybody, man. Pray for your families. Imagine how hurtful, how bad you feel if your family is in hell and you're going to heaven or is it vice versa. You don't want to be missing out on worshiping God, dancing for God. God is right there loving on you. You loving right back on him. Imagine that eternal peace. Romans 8.18. The pain you feel now can't compare to the joy you feel later. We know the end result. But are you going to go through it, even through the pain and suffering? God suffered for you. Let us suffer for God. It is an honor to suffer for God. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for another blessed day, Lord. I thank you for you allowing me to preach your living word to these people who are watching it. And I pray for those people who are watching it apply it to their lives. Receive what God has given to you. Receive the love that the Lord has gave you and spread it across the nations and the world because I want people to know that every single person out in the world is loved by a man who died for you. And he continued, love, he continued loving on you. I pray that, it, that the person who received this message, you spread it to one person. One person is saved from hell. And that repentance is a beautiful thing. And I pray that whoever's watching this, if you're not living right, you come and repent. Just repeat. If you're not living right, just repeat this. Lord, I repent. I repent for my ways, my old ways. And I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And that's it. Let us continue walking in God's way. God has something better for us. He loves us. God wouldn't throw us off. He has every right to be. He wouldn't throw us off. He want to leave us on the edge. Continue trusting in God. Continue loving on Him. Continue loving others. And yeah, just continue exalting His name. Continue praising His name. And continue being grateful for everything He does for you. From the seen and the unseen. Just continue loving God. And Lord, I thank you for the blessings that you give to me. And to this person who's watching. Continue blessing us, Lord. Let us continue exalting your name, Lord. Praising your name. Let us continue worship your name. Let's continue honoring your name, Lord. For your son died for us, not in vain, but for a reason. Through your grace and your mercy, we are saved. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. Let us continue loving others, as Paul said. It's very simple. Paul was a murderer of Christians. He killed Christians. Symbols that he changed his life around for Jesus Christ. He showed him what real love was. Let's continue sharing the word, loving others. And then, peace of ye!